Hey everyone, um, today I thought I'd share with you my Valentine's Day tutorial and I'm going to be using some of the items from the MAC Archie Girls collection. These are from mostly some of the Veronica colors, the Veronica lip gloss and lipstick and her blush. And um, if you want to know how to get the look, stay tuned. Before you get started with a look like this, it's really important to prep your skin and especially prep your lips. A matte lipstick is going to take some of the moisture out of, the natural moisture out of your lips. So you really want to make sure you have a really good soft surface and that your lips are really hydrated. So before I began, before I began, I took some of this fresh sugar lips scrub stuff and I exfoliated my lips. And this will just make your lips look fuller and it'll make, get rid of all the dead skin so nothing, you don't get that pigment clinging to gross dead parts. And then, to prime my lips, I use Burst Bees Lifeguard's Choice Lip Balm. I always use this with bright colored lipsticks or anything that's going to be really matte because it's not a slippery lip balm. It's very, very waxy, but it keeps your lips feeling soft. I'm going to do my skin first. I'm using Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum Foundation. This is in the color of vanilla. If you live in the U.S. and you're wondering where you can get this, uh, you can get it on the ASOS website. And that's pretty much the only place you can get it. So there's that. I'm going to use this expert face brush from Real Techniques. Just drag that down. I really like this foundation. It gives a really flawless finish, but doesn't look too matte. It looks quite natural, which I think is really cool. This brush is really nice. I think this is the best of the brushes from Real Techniques for the face. Um, that you'd use to apply foundation. I like this one better than the buffing brush. And I'm going to take a little of this on top of my eyelids. I don't usually use any foundation on my eyelids because I worry it'll crease, but I kind of need to even up my skin tone because it's really dark down there. Okay. Take the remainder, put it on your neck, just to kind of marry, those, marry that product need to have a whole lot. Good. Studio Sculpt, sorry, from MAC. This is another step sometimes I like to do last, but kind of want to open up the eye a bit and clean that up. This is a Real Techniques brush too. This is the Dome Shadow brush. I don't really think, I've never used this brush for our actual eyeshadow. I know that's what it's for, but um, it's just so good with creams because it's synthetic. But I always use it for my under eye concealer. There's a little of this on top of my brow bone as well. The concealer I used is an NW20. Wipe off any excess foundation so you don't get oily. My shadow shader brush, this one's from Chanel. I don't know what this is called because I've had it for so long that all the information on it has rubbed off. I literally bought this like 10 years ago. So that, if anything, is testament to how good brushes can be. I'm gonna use a little bit of, whoops, Max Vanilla. I'm gonna apply this right here. Did I just use the wrong side? Yes, I did. That's cool. Use that on the inner two thirds of the eye. Next, I'm going to use this one here. This one is called this shadow here, called Mulch. I'm going to use the same brush, just to take it, take it on the other side. Doesn't need to be too perfect. And I'm going to take that on the outer bit. I need a whole lot of eyeshadow going on and too much will really overpower the look. You guys were wondering, on my nails I have Essie's really red, which I think is the perfect color for Valentine's Day. Just taking that on the outer bit just to enhance the natural line of the eye. And a little bit under the eye as well. Just to give that lash line more depth. 
And since you already did your concealer, you can kind of go nuts getting it just where you want it. I'm going to use a little bit of this Petrol Blue Liner from MAC. This is from the Archie Girls Collection. I am loving this. And I'm going to use an angle brush. This is from e.l.f. And I'm going to take that liner on my angle brush. And I'm going to create a wing. Just like that. I think a really flirty winged look is so perfect for Valentine's Day. But this liner is so unusual looking. Because it's not really... It is blue. But it's sort of a subtle blue. And it has some glitter in it, which I think is so fun. It just makes everything look so festive. I know that... It would be something that my fiance would be like, what is that? Next, I am going to enhance my lash line because I want really thick, long lashes. I'm going to use my Laura Mercier Caviar Cream Liner. I'm just using an e.l.f. push liner blush. I'm just going to give that line even more definition. Line, I'm going to try something a little f different. I wanted to do a brighter white eyeliner, but I don't really like to wear white. So I'm going to use this NYX pencil. This one is an oyster, and it's like a light purple-y color. First, just wipe off any black that may have fallen down from the top. It's just a really pretty iridescent. Lavender color. You can barely see the purple, I think. Yeah. Not bad. Okay. Tweezing my eyelash curler. Looks a little uneven. Tilt it up just a tiny bit and get a nice the tear ducts. I want to do a little bit of highlight. I'm going to go back to this oyster color. I think I got a little black on it. A little in there as well. Not a whole lot. So a little bit, a little bit under the brow, I think, look really pretty. I might go over that with the vanilla to make it even brighter white. We'll see. For mascara, I'm using Estee Lauder Sumptuous Extreme Volume Mascara, Lash Multiplying. Let's see. I got this in a glossy block box, and I wanted to see how I liked it. Oh, very, very volumizing. I love a really big brush on a mascara. That's like my favorite thing. Like the Revlon Grow Luscious Mascara with the huge black bl black brush. Oh, I love that. Some people don't like that, but I go for that. That is my jam. I think because it's a little harder to do the bottom lashes when you do that kind of thing. You have a really big brush, but you get used to it. Cool. Now I'm going to do the lip. And I'm going to do the lip before I do the cheeks because when you use a really dark lipstick, it's really important to get the lip right first before you start messing with blush because you could accidentally put on way too much blush and then look like a clown. So I'm using Ronnie Red Blood, Ronnie Red Lipstick, which looks like this. It's a red matte lipstick. I'm just going to wipe my lips just to make sure they're not too 
oily from lip balm. I'm going to apply it first just in the center of the lip, like that. And I'm going to take this detailer brush and I'm going to blend it out really well. Just going back and forth. And Blend it in really, really well. Just so it looks like a steam. I'm going to take a second layer. To enhance the color. Now, it is a matte color, but I think to make it look more kissable for Valentine's Day, a little bit of lip glass. This is strawberry malt, just in the center here. Just give it a little bit more sexiness. Now I'm going to do the cheeks. I'm going to take my, uh, what do you call this again? Expert face brush. I'm going to use a little bit of my bronze Illumine palette. I'm going to use the bronzer. Just a tiny bit. I'm going to contour the backs of my cheeks. This brush is really nice for contouring too because it really fits under the cheekbone quite well. A little bit on this side as well. Don't forget to pat it off. This is really pretty pigmented, so you don't want to make it look crazy. It's very easy to mess up. Creams are really good when you're trying to make things look more natural, more youthful, make a big difference. Then I'm going to take a little bit of this NYX Rouge Cream Blusher. This one is in Natural, number two, and I'm using a beauty blender for this. I'm just going to kind of follow that same line from the contour up the cheek. And this is what the powder is going to stick to because we will use powder blush too. I'm going to use this highlighter from Urban K. This is called Sin. It's a really sexy candlelight highlighter. It's got a lot of really pretty pigment to it. Just a little there. A little on the upper lip. Not too much. You don't want to look like you're sweating. And a little bit under the eyebrow. And then I'm going to powder the skin just in the center of the face, not too crazy with the powder. I'm going to use the, I'm going to use Revlon Nearly Naked Powder. I really, really like this powder. I've been using it pretty much every day. I'm just going to swirl my brush. And just take it down the center of the face. And then I'm going to add a tiny bit more blush because it's Valentine's Day and we want to look extra lovely and a little bit extra sexy. I'm going to use a little bit of this Prom Princess blush. This is Ronnie's blush. And then we're going to be all done. This is really pigmented, so make sure to tap it off good. Just on the apple of the cheek. There we go. And there you have the finished look, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this and that I hope you all have a really great Valentine's Day and you celebrate it exactly the way you want to. So, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.